Hey everyone, welcome to another Tips and Tricks episode, where today I will be showing you how to move scenery in bulk. If you've ever created something, to come to the conclusion that you will need to delete it and restart it so it will fit into your park properly, then you have more than likely felt some serious frustration. While we wait for a copy and paste tool with the tile inspector for bulk scenery, there is currently a workaround. Let me show you how to do this. Here you will see I have built a pretty detailed building, one which I really enjoy, but now I've learned that I need to move it over a few grid tiles so I can fit a new ride in. Well, normally you would have to delete it and completely rebuild it. I think most of us would just make it work and be unhappy with our part. Well, don't do that. Let's start by first disabling clearance checks. Now to execute this, you will need to use the save scenery option within a ride stats window. I like to use the car ride in these scenarios so that what I will first do is build a car ride that clips through the building that I want to move. I will make sure that each grid has track occupying it. Once you have completed the ride, you will need to test it to have the stats populate. Once that has been done, you will see like so that you can now save the ride. You will also see that you can save it with scenery. And even better, you can have it select nearby scenery. Because you place a ride on each grid, it will select everything above and below each track piece. However, we have a problem here. You'll see that not every piece of scenery was highlighted. This is because when saving a ride, it is programmed to have a maximum object limit. To get around this, you will need to build a multiple smaller rides like this. Once you completed the testing of each ride, you can now save the scenery like we did before and it should now cover all scenery objects. Make sure when saving your rides, you save them as something you can find easily later. In this instance, I have named them to Lodge 1 and Lodge 2. Now select where you want to relocate it to. Open the corresponding ride type in the ride builder and find the saves that you just completed. You will need to splice them together like so. Having disabled clearance checks activated will make this possible. After you have placed all the rides down with their scenery, you can delete the rides and it will only leave the scenery behind. You have now successfully moved scenery in bulk, without having to stress yourself out by rebuilding your creation. I wanted to thank Ollie 414 for bringing this trick to my attention a while ago. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Make sure you subscribe and choose that bell notification icon so you don't miss any future episodes. I'll see you all next time.